if you like fishing, there is no better place to go than Schwartz Sturgeon Fishing Pond out here in Parma. Look at him. The pond record for the most sturgeon caught by one guy in one day is 208. And it's held by River Jim Larson. That one. And one of these days, he'll beat that record again. River Jim is one of many regulars that have caught an impressive number of fish here. How many fish have you caught in? 100, at really? least, yeah. With more than 300,000 different fish in this pond, the chances of not catching anything are slim to none. You will catch a fish. Um, pretty much even if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> you, can, you can catch fish. Then it's just a matter of learning how to catch it correctly. Like that, oh, like pull, that. pull, 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 real, pull, like real, 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 pull, real, pull. <laughs> to Got test it. that theory, I had River Jim give me a lesson. So did you feel that when you yeah, went I into pull it. mode, right? Today, our main goal is catching white sturgeon, which are an endangered and protected species here in Idaho. So I see him. And then reel down. There he is. I got him. They were practically extinct in all of the Idaho rivers due to uh, the dams, destroying of spawning beds, pollution, and poaching, unfortunately. It almost completely wiped out all of the sturgeon in Idaho rivers, and that's why they're so protected in the wild in Idaho, and justifiably so. Because these sturgeon are privately owned, though, it's a different story. There's over 3,100 sturgeon currently in this pond, and the pond is about three acres. Hey, this is a nice one right here. This small family business is the only place in the entire state of Idaho where you can legally fish white sturgeon. Jim says he bought this property back in 1986 and runs it as part of him and his wife's retirement. It seemed fitting considering he says fishing has always been a big part of his life. My grandfather used to catch them 18 and 20 feet long. No way. Back in the, back in the depression almost 100 years ago. While you won't find any 20-foot sturgeon in this pond, there's still some pretty big fish. The oldest sturgeon that we have in the pond right now is uh, probably around 45 years old, and he's seven foot eight and about 200 pounds. A lot of people, when they, when they see the bigger fish in the pond, they go how huge they are, but actually a seven foot eight inch sturgeon it's a decent sized fish, but it's not big by any means. And any of the fish that you catch, the bigger fish in the river, that especially the ones that are 10 and 12 feet long, those can easily be a 60, 80, 100 year old fish. Whether you plan to catch and release your sturgeon or pay to take it home and eat it, the number one priority stays the same. It's, it's very critical that the fish are handled according to our rules, most people don't realize how fragile the fish actually are. Or you do not ever want to bring the fish into the bank and into shallow water, and you never want to lift the fish or handle them by the body or the gill area, and you always keep the fish in the water. And the bigger the sturgeon is, the more important it is to not lift, especially by the body area. It, it can very easily injure their internal organs. The last thing we want to do is injure the fish. Jim says as long as you're respectful, you don't leave any trash, and you keep everything family friendly, you're welcome to come visit his more than 50 acre property in Parma. Money. <laughs> Each pool is just $25, and the pond is available to rent out for larger groups, which is why they recommend calling in advance to hold your spot. <laughs> The pond is open year round, and Jim says they love to host different nonprofits like veterans and special needs groups, and they're always happy to see kids fishing too. Me and my wife both really enjoy seeing people have a good time, and all of the smiles and the memories that it makes, it, uh, it's very worthwhile. The most important thing to remember when you're fishing is that you're always following protocol and you're treating these animals with the respect that they deserve. Reporting in Parma, should we let him go? Just let him go. <laughs> I'm Sophia Dumani. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good job.